Hey, happy Labor Day. I finally got to uh, do a full review on the Bone Tactical EDC Relentless. I have this knife for close to a month now. And so far I'm very pleased with it. The first thing I'll show you is if I actually carry this concealed because I took this one to a different state already, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, you know, Alabama, Georgia. I'm from Georgia, so we have like zero nav laws over here. We can just carry basically anything that is under 12 inches. And if it's over 12 inches, you just need to carry permit or, you know, you have to be able to own a firearm in order to actually carry a knife over 12 inches. That means if you're 21 and you can legally own a gun, you can carry a knife over 12 inches, basically, because we can constantly carry now. So when I went to Texas, Mississippi and Louisiana, I stopped by some casinos, right? As you can see, if I carry this like that, you know, I zip my up. Look, you can even tell I have a knife on me, which I really like about this. As you can see, it's, there's, there's almost zero printing, okay? So when I go under here and I pull it out, there's the blade. It's a double edge, about three inch long blade. This one is three inch. Right here, sharpened on both sides. Handle is a plastic molded, you know, some looking almost like a desert tan, you know, I really like the color. It's proper to bone tactical. The sheet itself is proprietary to bone tactical. I pull it out for you all to see the entire thing. That's how it comes. So you can also get from bone tactical, you can also get the clip right here. You can clip it and you can actually use this uh, inside your waistband. You can clip it to your t-shirt, you know, carry like that. Actually, you can just clip it and carry like that, you see? So I just, uh, I have to clip myself, you know, but I, I like my neck carry, just prefer the neck carry. Something to say about the steel over here. The steel is very, very sharp. You can keep the edge, you know, sharp on it. it takes good edge. Also, you know what kind of interesting? My main carry is my Spyderco H2 steel. You know, the Pacific Salt. That's my everyday carry, right? Since I, but this is the, supposed to be completely rust proof. It is completely rust proof knife, right? But something very interesting about this EDC Relentless is that I have this for about four weeks now, carry it every day. I even had it in a pool. I put it in a salt water when I went to Louisiana, you know, port. I actually put it in a salt water to test it out. No rust. That kind of surprised me. I don't know what bone tactical using uh, to make these blades. But whatever steel that is, it's extremely rust proof because I use this to, you know, cut some fish open, I got some blood on it, didn't wash it for like three days, no rust. So I was wondering what type of steel, you know, they're using because my Microtech M390 steel lasts about six weeks without sharpening, right? This one is already on its fourth week without sharpening. Because when I first got it, I put my own edge, I put 30 degree edge on it using my sharp spider sharp maker. You know, I sharpen it very good from both sides. Since that time, I did not sharpen it. I use it every day, more than actually I use my pocket knife now because I like the ED system. I just get under my neck, you know, pull it out. Because I did not buy this one as a self-defense, primary self-defense, you know, thing, no. I I actually ordered this, I actually ordered this as an everyday secondary blade, you know, if I have to use it for self defense, I have something I can stab with, slash with, whatever, right? But I can also use it as an emergency too, when I, when I cannot get to my folding knife, I prefer to take this because it's faster, access, you know, and all you have to really do when you grab it, you grab it by the sheet, and you just slide your hand on it like that. So basically what you got over here, is you got a small knife that you can carry pretty much anywhere you know in any state except if they have a double edge blade which you can get the non-permissive uh, environment knife uh, from bone tactical which i'm just ordered myself i actually bought one of these for my one of my friends too i ordered one for my friend he really enjoys it i actually ordered one for him too and as you can see the chain is very good made right there as you can see it's very hefty the one thing about this these brass things will turn green okay so don't don't get scared if, if you see them turning green that's normal it's brass okay if they get a little wet they get gonna turn green from your sweat whatever don't pay attention to that the most part, important part on this entire set is the blade the blade is not rusting so i don't care about this turning green or black or whatever color is gonna turn i don't care but the chain also lasts without any rust. I don't see no rust and I've been sweating, okay? I, 
been it's summer here it's 93 degrees right now i've been sweating and after four weeks no rust on the chain either so i say bone tactical finally make a product that is kind of kind of a rust proof you know i'm not gonna say rust uh, completely rust proof it may rust okay it's still a steel you know i think it's a steel i don't know because i don't know what type of steel that is because i normally 420 you know cea whatever will rust after taking the salt water run right? and living there for like four hours this one didn't that rust at all that's kind of very interesting you know i think mr bone you know from bone tactical i think he is something you know he developed something very interesting when it comes to actually actually steel for 39.99 you know you can get this one plus six dollars for the excuse me six dollars for shipping plus nine bucks for the clip so 56 bucks you know and you get this one which clip with the chain everything it's the cheapest edc knife out there and i say after using it a while the only thing i will complain about is this right here kind of this you know right here kind of scratch your neck when you carry it sometimes you can feel this around your neck it's kind of a little hard harder you know like a little scratchy that's the only complaint I have. The second complaint about this knife I have is sometimes it's the color, okay? I just think, you know, when you carry this somewhere, right? And it's all black, it would have looked better if they had a black version as well. I would have preferred if they have this color, it's beautiful, I love it. But I would have preferred to have a black version. So I'm gonna order another one and I'm gonna write dye, the, the little dye, you know, used for your clothing. I'm gonna use it on the handle and on the sheet. I'm gonna use it on both and see how that's gonna come out. Because I'm on a black sheet and a black handle. See, because if you have this, like when I went to casino, right? You know, in casino they say no weapons, you know? So I, you, of course, you cannot carry a firearm because if they discover that they can trespass you and you can go to jail, you know? Not worth it. So I end up bringing this one into the casinos, six different casinos, you know, in Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas. Never had a problem. Nobody even questioned it. You know, nobody can see the chain really. And it's not like you just clip to your pockets. So nobody's gonna watch. Most people these days, even cops, they look at your pockets. Everybody carry their blades, you know, clip to their pockets. And if you have something on your chain, like this on the neck, nobody's gonna even question that. That's that's a blade, you know? So I brought it to a casino. I just, I wanna try, test it out. I brought it to a casino. What, what would I recommend it to somebody? No, don't do it, okay? Unless you are ready to, you know, go to jail for trespassing or whatever, right? Because if you got a no weapon policy, you know, uh, that's why I got this blade because I can carry this one or the one that Adam just ordered the uh, non permissive environment. I can carry it in places like, a, you know, where there's a metal detector, not including government buildings. I will never carry it to a government building, to an airport. I mean, private, you know, sector. Like, you know, let's say you have to go to, a, uh, you know, place uh, like a hospital that is non government, you know, and they have a metal detector, right? And you still want to stay there after car accident and still have something type of like a you know everyday carry a weapon on you to defend yourself if there's some crazy person trying to hurt you you know and any of these free weapons free zones you want to have something to defend yourself right so the best thing i would advise is either this if there's no metal detector detectors out there carry this and if there's a metal detectors just get the non permissive environment knives that one's gonna be good too i'll say but i really like this uh, system you see you can wrap it around your arm like that you know when you maybe dive swim whatever you can carry it with one hand easily swim whatever it's like easy easy to you know carry on you you can stick this in your pocket like you can wrap this around like this stick it in your back pocket carry it like that if you don't have to clip on or whatever if you don't want to you know put it on your neck you can also take this uh, chain completely off and tape this to your leg you know your arm you can carry it that way too so basically it's so lightweight it's maybe three ounces which the entire thing from the train maybe three to four ounces but the entire thing is very lightweight it's basically this weight nothing the only thing i have to tell you is basically a double edged dagger that means you know like if you have a prison shank this is basically modeled by a prison shank almost like a prison shank that's what is it basically it's a prison shank you know it's meant to be stabbing weapon stabbing stabbing slashing too but mostly stabbing I use this as an everyday carry tool, you know, that's what I use it for because it's a great tool to have because it got double edge, that means if one edge gets dual, you got another edge to use, you know, that including if you use this one to cut your bread in the morning, you can use this one to defend yourself later on during the day, you have to, you know, so that's a good thing, have a double edge because you have a two blades to use, you know, and if one gets dual, you got another one to use, which is very good, plus it's a better penetration when it comes to two double edge knives. 
So thanks for watching. And go to bonetactical.com and order also one of these, okay? They are great little EDC. Check his website. Great stuff. I'm very pleased with his product.